point, click, bang. It was already dead. Is this real enough for you? Welcome back to Tech Air City. This is Brandy Z coming back to you guys today with a quick tutorial on how to spot or identify a faulty power supply or a dead on arrival power supply, which was the case in this power supply. Now, I was all excited. I had this 800 watt gold power supply. I put it in, I installed it in my rig, connected everything up, and it started for a split second. And then I tried diagnosing literally everything I could to check that maybe it was a short circuit on my motherboard or maybe it was a short circuit, something wasn't connected properly. So I tried all the other options and this was the last resort and that is just to test the power supply itself. And so in order to do this, you're going to need a uh, any wire. This is just a paper clip and this will do the job. You're gonna need a paper clip and you're just gonna need to hook your power supply up to the power point and make sure it's turned off for this first part. Make sure it's turned off. Because what you wanna do here is you wanna get the, get the uh, ATX 24 pin adapter and then you want to get the green wire that's the fourth wire from the right on the face with the clip and then you want to insert one wire into that end and then you want to insert it into any black wire connection point so for me the one right next to it is a black wire connection point so we get that one we put it in like that and then we're good to go so I'll repeat that again, the green wire, which is the fourth from the right on the face with the clip on it. So that green wire and any black wire, it can be any black wire. So we leave that there like that, make sure it's touching nothing. And then we continue just to uh, turn on our power supply from the wall and also from the connection point itself. Okay, so once you have turned your power on from the wall you and you have your wire connected, you can then turn on the power supply like so and as we saw here the fan literally started for a split second and then it stopped and essentially what this means is this power supply is faulty a healthy power supply the fan should just continually spin until you turn the power off uh, so we can try that again as well and this time it doesn't even spin at all so something is faulty with this power supply alone none of my other components are causing this problem and it's unfortunate that it's dead on arrival I will be what I will be doing is getting this ship back to Amazon and getting an exchange I will give leper another chance and then I'll test this power supply and see how it goes uh, also be very careful yeah make sure before you touch any wires all the power supply uh, all the power is disconnected and off and if you have any questions about this tutorial please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Air City, where I keep the tech videos coming continuously. Anyway, guys, peace out for now. Bye.